Hey trans youth, um, so this week's topic is actually just two tips you can give to a transsexual or transgender in general. Um, I'm going to try and not repeat what everyone else said, but I also can't really remember what everyone else said. So I'm just going to name the top two and hope I'm not repeating myself. Um, the first one is community, and the second one is actually not sweating it and be reasonable. Um, as far as community goes, it's incredibly important to me that you have community. Um, when I came out as a transsexual and I started um, dressing in drag and being female in public and representing myself as female, um, there will were a lot of trials and tribulations and as much support as I had from my friends and family um, I found myself kind of on the lonely side. Um, now this was primarily because there wasn't another person I could talk to about my experiences and um, it was a big thing for me um, to have community in the first place but when I came out, um, I was feeling lonely, I was feeling like no one really understood. And it's a difficult thing because people can't really understand um, unless they have some form of gender identity issue. Um, I don't really want to say it like it's an issue or anything like that, but either way. so. Um, community, when I started YouTube and I started going to community events and things like that, um, all of that loneliness kind of went away because now I knew people who understood what I meant when I was talking about being hit on by a heterosexual man who didn't clock you. And um, it made sense now. and. I could joke around, I had fun, and I got all the issues I wanted to get off my chest off to someone who understands and could give me feedback. Um, it helped me feel a, like I wasn't alone, like there were others like me and things like that. Um, so community, big deal to me. Um, so what I would suggest as a tip to other transsexuals, um, as an advice thing, um, Google local GLBT areas and start commenting, start um, searching around for other people's stories. Um, get involved with a board like transbucket.com or here on YouTube is good enough. Um, if you're part of um, the community that we have now, um, Trans Youth Channel is a very large community. If you're not part of it, hit the subscribe button and um, just start watching the videos, comment, and everything. Um, and if there isn't much option for you, um, then I would suggest you start reaching out. Um, family and friends may have connections. Um, I know that my school and my college has large connections. Like, um, it has its own GLBT place called Across All Lines, and that is connected to the Lambda Center in Fort Collins, Colorado, and Wyoming Equality here in Cheyenne. And it's also connected to several GSA institutions in high schools, several GSA institutions in like general public. So it's actually, it's a very close interconnected web. And if you just join that, um, I think you'll find your experience to be a lot funnier and a lot happier. Um, but enough about that. The second one is more along the lines of general advice. Um, I found that it became quite important to me um, in dealing with being trans in public. Um, be reasonable and don't sweat the small stuff. Um, we were talking about discrimination quite often and the escalation of a occurrence or a problem. So um, things will escalate once they've uh, clocked you or they found out you're gay or something like that. So um, being a diplomatic person can get you out of those situations quicker. Um, and my whole thing is if someone doesn't want you in the female bathroom, don't sweat it. 
um, be reasonable, um, try and talk to them in as diplomatic and professional a form as possible. But if that's just not possible, excuse yourself. If the situation is not level-sided or anything like that, if they're going way over your head, um, excuse yourself from the situation because you don't want it to escalate. Um, it escalated in McDonald's and it escalated uh, with Matthew Shepard and it escalated with a whole bunch of these problems. And they became big issues. Um, people were hurt in a lot of them and in a lot of cases people died. So um, that's my advice. Be reasonable. Um, it's actually my general rule of thumb for everything I do. Be reasonable. That's really the only rule. Um, make sure you have reasons for things. Make sure you're um, talking in as clear a manner as possible. Uh, it's pretty difficult, but hey. Um, so there we go. Uh, follow with my philosophy and just be reasonable. And um, I think you'd be okay. You'd be good. So that's my two tips for trends. Um, I actually have a lot more. Like um, I think the good majority of us have said like two tips doesn't seem to be enough. So um, I don't know. Uh, maybe we can do another session of just tips. Uh, that'd be nice. But that's pretty much it. So I'm Audi. Um, if you have any um, other questions, send them to trendsyouthchannel at gmail.com. Dot com. You should know the story. If you're a newcomer, send it to gmail.com. You'll get selected um, along with a whole bunch of other questions from other people. And who knows, you might get your question answered by seven beautiful trans women. Um, I honestly think that'd be pretty cool. So send your questions to transyouthchannel at gmail.com. And I think that's it. We're good. Um, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next week. Bye.